We up our hunting skills in this episode of Raft as we take Bruce down a peg. With the shark off our back, we're able to gather quite a bit of awesome materials to push us ever so close to the goal we've all been waiting for. Lend a hand as we push towards the story in Raft. What's going on, guys? Gunthrek here, back for some more Raft Adventures. Uh, gonna go ahead and jump right back in, because I'm in the middle of some things that were going on. <laughs> uh, when I last left off, we were kind of over here in this little crevice, and I started freaking out. But, um, okay. I started freaking out because I thought we were going to get stuck, because I couldn't figure out how to get us out of it. And... Oh, I was thinking I was going to have to destroy some parts of the raft to make it move and all of that because I thought it was wedged in here. And then I remembered, oh, yeah, we have a we have a paddle. So that was all stressed out for nothing. <laughs> so anyways, I spent the evening um, finishing building out this part of the raft. And we're getting this little part of the raft here done. So let me go ahead and pop that on there. And we're just waiting on... This to finish, because of course, he always wants to get me when I'm in the middle of talking to you guys. I don't. Th I think he's jealous. I think he just wants me to pay attention to just him and not you. I think that's what's going on. Um, anyways, so we're going to wait for that to finish. We'll pop one more on there, and then we'll be ready to start putting antennas up. But we got to make antennas, and that requires copper, because we need circuit boards. And then we need a battery, which also takes copper. But I want to get the foundation in place because it's really important that we don't allow Bruce to tear up our stuff. Okay, so we got a nice foundation connection between all of our important things and where we're going to put our antennas. What do, I, what do those take anyway? Uh, so they take a circuit board. So it looks like I have enough scraps and I'm going to need one more bolt. So let's go ahead and get an iron ingot going. Well, okay, but I need a bolt for each one. So I'm going to need three bolts and three circuit boards. And the circuit boards all require vine goo, copper ingots, and plastic. So it's going to be a little bit before we get our antennas up. And then we also need a battery, and the batteries take copper ingots, plastic, and scrap. So I guess while we're here... All right, we've got our foundations all taken care of. I don't know that I'm really worried that much about the antennas right this minute. Because we kind of need to gather more materials for it anyway. Am I out of... I'm out of wood. I'm out of planks. So we need to run over here and grab some planks. Five. Uh, okay, so it's probably going to be around this way. That's going to give us more planks. And this island kind of... This island's not the best, because it doesn't only have two trees on it. But that will give us enough to where we can finish cooking our shark here. Okay, um... What am I doing? Eat that shark meat. It might be necessary to just try to kill Bruce. How much do I need? Okay, so I got the stuff for the flipper. The flippers. Plastic seaweed. I need a lot of vine goo and rope. How much rope do I have? Um, let's go ahead and get some vine goo cooking because it's, it's it is going to be a little bit before we get the antennas up. They just re they require a lot of material. A lot of material we don't have a lot of. I mean, we got plenty of copper, but do we have plenty of copper? We do. We have plenty of copper, but at the same time. We got it. It's going to take a long time to. Uh, it's going to take a lot, a long time to smelt it. So there's that. Mm. Indecision is gripping me. I mean, I guess we're kind of close enough that we can just. Where is he? It'd be nice if I knew where he was. Okay, I don't 
don't see him. He's going to blindside me from somewhere. We're going to see if we can find some more. I guess we get some scrap. Uh, scrap is always a good thing. Oh, there he is. I don't see any metal here. But I also don't know that we're really that worried about it. And it looks like if we're going to get any, it's going to be down there. Where we have to be far far into where Bruce is going to get to us. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, let's see. If you can hit him just, if you can hit him just at the right time, you can kill him. Where is he? And that was not the right time. I'm going to stay kind of close to the raft. I don't think I hit him, but that stopped him. Come on. Come on. You know you want to get stabbed. He just likes to play. There we go. See, if you can stab him just right, it stops him from biting you. I used to be really good at killing him. Okay. I think... And you know what? I think in one of the patches, they actually they actually went and nerfed him a little bit and made him easier to hit. Because when, the, when I first started playing, it was really hard to do anything to him. I, you had to have you had to have the flippers to move around fast enough to prevent him from biting you because timing it was really hard. So look at that, Bruce isn't so intimidating. So that being said, let's take a minute to water up. See how much faster it is to just get water now? So we'll hop in here and we'll grab some grab some uh, scrap. I mean, I guess the biggest thing I'm worried about now is while I'm down here doing this, the, a storm comes up and dislodges my raft and it starts floating away. But it won't. With Bruce gone, and now, and I have enough spear left that I should be able to fend him off if I end up having to swim for a while to catch up with the raft. The raft won't float away that fast. Not all, not all by itself. And even later on, when you get more advanced methods of moving your raft, they never set the speed so fast that you can't catch up to it swimming. Okay. Probably taking a bit of a risk by coming back down again, but... Just... In my experience, I mean, even on my even on my main raft, I have plenty of scrap, but I don't have near as much scrap. I don't need, have near as much scrap as I have of other things. And we're getting to the point now. We're going to need a lot of scrap for the antennas and for a couple other things. So I just want to make sure. Looks like this is trying to fall off now. See if we can rotate that back on there and get it to stop trying to float away. So I want to try to get a little bit more, a little bit more resources, because we got this time with Bruce gone, and all the scrap in the world is really good. But I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost done with my hunger bar, so I need to get back up there and finish that. But now that uh, now that I now that I realize that Bruce isn't nearly as hard to kill as he used to be, getting food shouldn't be that bad because when I get hungry I can just go down there and spear him to death. So that's not that bad. Okay, so let's get out of here. Might need the paddle for this. So, so we'll turn that that way. So that way, once we're out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Orp. 
Or we could fall in the water. <laughs> it does not want to cooperate. Get out. Get out of this area, please. Get out. I forget. I don't think you have to be at the edge to make it, to make it go. I think I'm fighting the wind. Just gotta take a second to figure out how to get out of this. Okay, there we go. So now we can go that way. And then I don't. Well, I wasn't smart and didn't have any food. Oh, I did. Okay, cool. Um, okay. Seriously, can we get off the. Can we get off the rocks, please? Did my shark meat float away? I think it did. Well, that was dumb. That's the problem with the water floating up like that, is that you end up, you end up losing things. So now we just got to kind of sit here and wait. Well, boo. But I guess that's okay, because this shark meat will be done pretty soon. Which way is the wind blowing? I'm going to turn this this way. It looks like Bruce is back. I really wish that this would cook faster. Not enjoying this. Might be necessary to build our big grill, our big grill sooner rather than later. Because it could double as a little bit of food storage. And it cooks three items at a time or one one big item? I think it's one big item. I really don't want to waste a uh, I really don't want to waste a shark meat. There we go. There we go. Okay. What does that big grill what does that big grill require? Planks, two metal ingots, rope, and I think it might be worth. I think it might be worth going ahead and getting the big grill done because then we can keep a lot of food on the grill. We can cook a lot of food on the grill much more quickly. I think we're a ways away from a stew pot. The stew pot gives you the best food. It, it gives you the best. It gives you the best uh, long-term hunger prevention. I don't know how you say that. You know what I mean, though. Like. It gives you this fortified hunger ability, which is really nice. So I think what we'll end up doing is, is since we're gonna have to, since I'm gonna want, I don't want to have a T-shaped raft that looks kind of stupid. So we'll probably end up building these this section out a little bit and then building like a structure on the end, and that'll be our our like little hut on the raft. What was that? Hopefully it wasn't something important. Waiting on this to finish. But our raft is actually kind of wide enough now that we could start putting um, we can start putting collection nets up. That would be nice. Coll collection nets would be really nice. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our grill set up. And that'll probably be it for this episode. Yes, the advanced grill. Look at that. All right, let's get this let's get this puppy set up. Uh, where do we want to put it? Where do we want to put it? I don't. I, I mean, I guess we can put it right next to the water purifier. Do that. We'll put some planks in it. And then look, now we can put two now we can put two sharks in there. Ha ha! Two shark meat. I gotta do it. Shark bait. Hoo ha. So 
Oh, I'm out of planks again. Okay. Anyways, all right. So we got a little bit done. We got we got a fair bit done. Now we got our we got our advanced grill, which means we and we can cook those we can finally cook those catfish we've been holding on to for a very long time. So we got our water purifier and our our, our grill set up. We got our uh, receiver. We'll get some antennas set up for that, and then pretty soon we'll be getting ourselves into a place where we can actually I can actually start delivering on that promise of of doing the story. I know it's taking a lot longer than we probably originally thought it was going to, but plans never go according to what you think they're going to do. So, yeah, there's always that. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for this episode right here. We'll come we'll come back with another we'll come back with the right back where we are right here. Uh, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, please click that like button. It really helps out. Uh, if you want to be notified of more videos uh, being posted, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And uh, please feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what your uh, what's your favorite what's your favorite part of these episodes so far. What's your favorite part of uh, what you're seeing in this content? What kind of things would you like to see more? Mostly, I just want to see what are you enjoying. Yeah, let's let's do that. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're enjoying. One thing that you're enjoying, and one thing that you think could probably be better. Let's do it that way. I think that's a good I think that's a good comment thing. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. I really appreciate your time. Hope to see you next time. Have a great evening.